I wanted to make a quick video to tell you a little secret. I think this is a super important video to make because not a single person has ever talked about this. I've found a way to cheat the matching system. Yes, the matching process that we all know and love today, it, to be honest, it kind of sucks. It has a lot of downfalls, right? It's kind of weird. We're, we're in a situation now that we spend four years in medical school, blood, sweat, and tears, just trying to get past it. We go half a million dollars in debt just to get through it. And at the very end of the day, we're not even guaranteed a job and we can't even choose where we want to end up. And yeah, of course, we could apply to certain locations, of course, but you know what I mean? Like technically we can't say, I want to, I want to be here, right? We could wish for it, but we can't, it's not guaranteed. But I, I learned something new during this cycle. Me and my friend, we walked through this whole process and it freaking worked. At the end of the day, he matched. He took advantage of the situation and got himself and secured himself a position. And honestly, I don't even like to call it a cheating system. I found like a technique. It just pushes chances into your favor a little bit more. But before we get into the process, there's a few caveats first. Number one, this video is geared more towards people who would do anything, sacrifice anything just to be a resident at the end of the day. You could be anywhere in Modesto, of all places, and you would still be happy, right? And you could do whatever you want with that. You could you could stay in there or you could reapply the next year with a little bit of a stronger CV and one year of residency under your belt. Number two, these tips are geared more towards people who don't have the most ideal circumstances surrounding their application. Say, for example, they were super late in sending out all their applications or their step scores weren't competitive enough. And the third thing, I don't, I can't really speak for people who have like giant red flags on their application. I'm sorry. I can't really help you there. Now, the first thing that you need to do is to apply to at least one program. That's all you need. You can apply to a few more if you want to, a small handful. And when you're applying, you kind of had the preconception that chances of getting in are not very strong, but you might get an interview. And if so, that's great. You could basically have like a practice interview under your belt for experience. You have to apply to at least one program because that unlocks the next step and that is getting into the soaping process. And the soaping process is where the sauce is. That's where the magic happens. Now, the soaping process is kind of like the wild, wild west, okay? <laughs> Everybody is scared, nobody knows what's going on, everybody's sweating, and they're just trying to get through it, okay? Everybody's just as lost as you are. But the more you know about the soaping process, the more you could use it to your advantage, all right? And I'm about to, I'm about to divulge some secrets over here, okay? That might get me fired. <laughs> I have no idea. By the way, this is not legal or medical advice. I'm not responsible for anything that might happen to you. <laughs> the first thing you gotta understand is that these programs and program directors are sweating just as much as you are because at the end of the day, they need to fill these positions no matter what. So use that to your advantage. Now, the first step, if you may not know, at the very beginning of the SOAP, you get a comprehensive list of all the states, hospitals, and programs and all the unfilled seats that are left in those programs out of a total amount of seats that were available initially. So you'll see, you know, Hospital X for internal medicine has six unfilled positions out of 20. You get to know how many seats are available. I would much rather go for a program that has six unfilled positions rather than another program that has only one unfilled seat. Then you choose your 45 spots of all the places that you would want to apply to. And correct me if I'm wrong, but uh, during my soaping process, I don't remember paying any extra to apply to these extra 45 spots. So that's money in your pocket right there. Then you go through your interviews. Then the very next day, I'll break down how the actual rounds of soap start, right? There are four rounds. Each round, the programs will send out their invites to the medical students and the medical students could view those invites and either choose to accept them or deny all of them and move on to the next round of soap. There are four rounds, so that cycle repeats three times till you get to the fourth round. And after that, you're kind of out of luck if you haven't matched then. But there's also a very important thing that you need to understand. These programs are only allowed to send out a number of invites that match how many unfilled spots they have. So for example, if a program has eight out of 20 unfilled spots, eight of them are unfilled, they can only send out eight invites during that very first round. So if you get an invite from a person, that means a lot because that means one program director is spending one of their very precious invites on you. So if you get an invite, take it and run, okay? <laughs> Say for example, in the first round, two people accepted those invites. Then in the second round of SOAP, that same program can only send out six invites. And that cycle just keeps repeating until you get to the fourth round, okay? Nobody has ever taught me that. How come we don't know that? We should know that. Then the next thing, how much battery do I have left? Not that much. Okay, damn it. Now, now that I've explained enough, 
let me tell you what actually happened with me, right? In my very first round, I had four invites from like different states. I had uh, two invites from Virginia, one from Florida, and one from Nevada. And of course, I chose Las Vegas, Nevada, because I heard this was a great program, and it was honestly the best choice I've ever made. And uh, I'm super happy right now. But that's the key thing. On my very first round, I had four options to choose from. I was able to choose where I wanted to end up. That was the first time I ever felt like I had like an ounce of power, and I was able to control my destiny for like a little bit, in, instead of leaving it up to somebody else. And that was like one of the most incredible feelings ever, okay? <laughs> and then that's, that's probably one of the biggest benefits of using this technique. Now, let me tell you what happened with my friend to illustrate this even more. He applied to one program just so that he could get into the SOAP. During the SOAP, he had eight interviews. After going through those eight interviews, the very next day, he was offered three positions in his very first round. And he was able to secure himself a residency position in the very first round of his choice. He went from having slim chances to being realistic and using the whole soaping process to his advantage. And that freaking blew my mind. All right. That's why I felt like you needed to know as well. And of course, it, it has to be said, the best way to do it is just do it the all natural way, the way we have been doing it. But this is geared towards the people who just need that little extra push just to get to the finish line, just that little extra bit of help. These are for people who just need their foot in the door just to prove that at the end of the day, they're going to be a great doctor. And they just, they just needed a chance to prove themselves to themselves and to everybody else, All right? And yeah, I know it's not the best time to be making a video about Match, but this video is gonna stand here and it's gonna be waiting for you in your time of need. Hopefully you don't even need it, but just in case, it's here for you.